Hey YouTube, welcome to TCT and the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. No chapstick this time, and I will tell you why. TCT and the Crazy just because I am sometimes troll because I consider myself a troll when I put on face paint. A cute troll, but still a troll nonetheless. So that's what TCT and is, the Crazy Troll Nation. And my name is Dion. For those of you who do not know and who are here for the first time, thank you for being here. If you've been here before, welcome back. And I would hope that you subscribe, comment. I like interaction and I get hardly none. <laughs> I want to feel the love. <laughs> Let me stop being dramatic. Okay, this video is about some of the Sephora products that I received. And this video in particular is about their lip products that they sent me. They're clean, glossy lip oils. And I received one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these. And I received two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of their where is the name lip mousse so what i realized is some of the colors seem to overlap a little bit and so i am not going to use um every single one of these i'm not going to swatch every single one of these what i am hoping to do is to find someone who would like to do a lip giveaway collaboration with me so that's what I'm hoping to do. And plus, I just really use chapstick. I use the Fenty Stunners, going out with a mask on who sees your lips. But I do still enjoy lip products. I just don't use them. And to have 15 new lip products, open them, swatch them, and then don't use them again. And so I want them to have a happy home. And so that's what we're going to do. Let me see if there's information on the letter that came with all of this. Clean Glossy Lip Mousse. Wait, I read that wrong. Wait a minute. <laughs> Clean Glossy Lip Oil. Is it a lip oil? Is it a gloss? Well, it's both. <laughs> this pigmented oil slash gloss hybrid gives off a beautiful non-sticky shine. Watermelon seed oil is used to provide extra hydration. Okay, so let's read what it says about the clean lip mousse. This whipped formula sits comfortably on the lips while serving up serious pigmentation for long lasting color. Rosehip oil, I have issue with rosehip oil, the scent of it because of my allergies. Okay, let me just read on. Rosehip oil helps to heal the lips and keep them nourished. So, <laughs> but we'll see because if it doesn't have much of a scent I'm going to open this color only because I think it's a weird kind of color like I don't know and it is a nude but I don't know like who would wear this or do I want to open this one I'm going to open this one because I between these two this to me like I don't know who would wear this even if someone was really fair their complexion was fair my mind is just telling me this is just weird. And so I'm going to open this one. <laughs> and we're going to see what it does. So lip, this is the lip mousse. I'm going to swatch it on my hand. My hand is ashy from earlier. I was swatching foundations. And I used a cotton round with the Garnier Marcella cleansing water. And look how ashy it made my skin. And it says you don't have to rinse it off, which I didn't, but like my skin is ashy. But anyway, this color, I don't know if it has a color. I'm not seeing. The color is pine, zero one pine. And on here, it says liquid lipstick. On, and on here, it says clean lip mousse. Okay, that's a little confusing. So we're going to dip in again. We're going to swatch this color. And so that's what that looks like. So I don't know like who would wear this. And so I'm opening this with the idea of just to end up throwing it away. But like I said, I do want to find someone to do a lip giveaway collaboration with so that I can find these products at Happy Home. So it, it doesn't... Uh, 
it has like a factory chemical scent. You know what? Mm -mm. It smells like bug spray. That's what it smells like to me. I'm dipping it back in again. Oh my. It's very smooth. It feels nice. I don't really smell it on my lips, but when I'm applying it, maybe from off of here, or maybe it's the applicator itself, but when I'm applying it, I smell bug spray. That is so strange. <laughs> I already knew this wasn't going to be my color. But I didn't want to open up one that I would really like and know that I wouldn't use it. And so I just wanted to open this one just to try it to let you guys know what it feels like. I very, very faintly smell it on my lips. I am very sensitive to fragrance. For those of you who are not, you probably won't even smell it. I'm going to put on the Wayne Goss, the Essential Lip Pencil in Cinnamon. Y'all, this smells like bug spray. Sephora, I'm sorry. I am very, very, very sensitive to fragrance. And so I will just keep saying that. Somebody else may not smell it at all, but... Mm. Alright, so I'm putting on this lip liner. All of a sudden, my eyes are starting to burn. Oh my goodness. I just realized I forgot to comb my hair. I, I am, I'm overdue for a haircut. So I know I'm looking really crazy and I apologize. And I meant to brush it again before the video and I didn't. I forgot until just now. I'm a troll, what do you expect? <laughs> I am like going all over top of <sighs> oh, the lip mousse. I'm just kind of blending out the lip liner. I was going to see that lip liner line. It is very creamy. It is very smooth. It was challenging putting the lip liner on top of it because it's, it's rubbing off onto the, the lip liner. Feels very comfortable on my lips. Um, my eyes are burning. Like for real, for real. Wow. It feels very moisturizing. It goes on really smooth. It's very comfortable. So whoever gets these, if they're not, if you're not sensitive, like extremely sensitive to fragrance, I think you, you will really like these. Just for giggles, I'm going to put the Fenty Confetti Gloss Bob on top. I'm silly, I know. Okay, so this is the Sephora Clean Lip Mousse that it says here, but then on the paper label it says liquid lipstick. I, I, I'm a little confused. Thank you, Sephora, for sending me these products, and I am really happy to try them. I am going to wipe all of this off because I want to try the lip oil. And then that'll be it for this video. And I'm going to try the clear one. And let me see if it has different information on here. Okay, clean glossy lip oil. You know, the paper tag, it has 01 Juicy. 
and then it has lip oil. So I don't know why the other one has like two different th things. I unscrewed it not realizing, which I should have. I, I thought it was a, um, I thought it would have been like a squeeze tube, but it's not. This applicator, I don't know what kind of applicator this is. And this is clear, so it's not going to look like anything. But it's not a doe foot. It's like a plastic something. But it's, it feels furry. Like it's plastic, but it's... <laughs> I am horrible at describing things. And this is the shape of it. It's flat, and then it's like narrow. All right, so we're going to dip that in. Ah... It seems hard to get on, and you have to lay it sideways to get the flat part. Well, for my lips. If you have thin lips, it, it may be easier. The applicator is not really comfortable. Even though it's flexing, it has a stiffness to it, and maybe I'm just used to doe foot applicators. So I just dipped it back in. Or well, I may be used to the... Fenty gloss bomb applicators. It seems like it doesn't want to come off. <laughs> For it to be an oil, it is thick. It's very moisturizing. I'm not smelling anything, which is awesome. Let me read this again. This is lip oil. It has watermelon seed in it. Okay. I like how it feels. I'm just gonna blot. It's still there. My lips still feel small. Still feel soft. The oil does linger. It is definitely an oil. I like how this feels. I like this a lot. I like the lip oils a lot. I'm definitely going to be giving away <laughs> the lip mousses. So this one I used, I'm going to put over here. And actually, that's going to go in the trash. And I know I used the clear one, so I don't have to worry about mixing up colors. And I'm going to put that over here with stuff that I am currently using. Everything else is in front of me. So, again, I'm just going to go through. Now, I want, now I'm trying to figure out, do I want to keep some of the lip oils? <laughs> but we're going to go through the colors of the lip oils that I have not opened. So you guys can see what the colors are. For all of my giveaways, you do need to currently be a subscriber as of the time I upload the giveaway video. However, oh, and this one I forgot. However, if I find someone to do um, a lip giveaway collaboration with, you will not necessarily need to already be subscribed to my channel, but you will need to subscribe to me and to whoever the other person is that I will be doing the collaboration with. And these are the lip mousse colors. And I may break it up into um, the lighter shades and the darker shades. More so like a neutral category and a colorful category because someone who wears this shade will not necessarily wear this shade. Someone who wears this one may not wear that one. And so I do like for things to have happy homes, which means I do also understand that people gravitate towards different colors. And so the giveaway will probably, you know, do you want the lighter, the lighter color collection or do you want the darker color collection? And whenever that video is done, um, I will have these, this is this set and this is this set. And then you can choose which one you are hoping to win. So that's it for this video. I apologize that it was as long as it was. And I really like the lip oil. I really like those. I really like that one. So now I need to figure out which ones I'm going to keep. And, <laughs> you know, I'm going to try another one real quick. Because I want to try a color. And see if it really is a color. I want to try this one because I like dark colors on my lips. This one is 08 Blackberry. So we're going to open this up. 
Don't smell. I was going to say don't smell anything. But there's a faint hint of something. Oh my. Mm. Okay. I'm, mm. Let me stop. Because I. Uh, So, even, so yeah, as an oil, this is basically a gloss, glossy lip oil. So it's not about a lot of color, and I don't want to keep putting more on because it is oily, and because it's oily, this will I like this. It will rub off in your mask. It will rub off when you eat it will rub off you know whatever glass or cup you're using or whatever straw you're using but it feels really good really really good i wanted to try another one of the sephora clean liquid lipsticks one side says clean liquid mousse but the tag says liquid lipstick this color is in mahogany i wanted to try this one because the first one i tried that i reviewed it smelled like it had turned bad already and so i didn't want to just leave that review like that especially because i'm going to be giving these away and so i didn't want people to be like okay she's saying it smells like bug spray but she wants us to enter this giveaway so <laughs> i picked a shade that i thought would complement the look that i'm wearing today and would also be like a, a deep neutral shade on me. And this one is 09 Mahogany. And this one smells fine. So I am glad I opened up another one. So I am scraping some off. It is a mousse-like texture. It feels really nice. It's definitely a mousse. I am having a problem getting it even. Or is that just because my lips are different colors? I like the shade, however, I would probably need to um, put something on my lips first to even out the pigment of my natural lips to get this color to go on even. If you just dot it on, it does look opaque, but then as you blend it out, it does tend to go lighter, which is what I think the problem is. Also, I did have one chapstick already, so I probably should have taken that off before I put this on, and I don't have... Yes, I do. All right, so let's try this again. And I'm glad you're here to witness this and see if this helps. I have some Q-tips over here, and I just dropped them. I meant cotton rounds, which were with the Q-tips, and pulling out the cotton round, I dropped the Q-tips. So they are happily playing under the table right now. Okay. Did I get it all? I really like this light back here, but oh my goodness. Whew. All right, so my lips are dry. So we're gonna try this again. Zero 09 Mahogany. Uh, according to this sticker, Liquid lipstick, according to the packaging, lip mousse. Who knows? I think it's doing the same thing. Over here is darker in here where I sheared it out or blended it out. It came out a lot lighter. So, um... I don't know. Or I would maybe have to use a lip primer, but then that would just be another product 
to put on. Ah, it feels really good. I don't know I keep saying that. <laughs> I'm trying to get the color to show up like this, but I guess that is how it looks, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to keep this on for a little while and I'm not going to eat or drink anything because I want to see how it performs once it dries down. So again, this is this color. <laughs> and you'll see me in a few seconds. I did touch my lip and the color came off. <laughs> it's only been like 45 minutes and it does not have staying power. I'm trying to see if it will stain because one side of it says, <laughs> this side says lip mousse right here, but on here it says liquid lipstick and I'm used to liquid lipsticks drying down into a stain. And so I've been wanting to see, is this going to dry down into a stain? But you can see where the color is already wearing off. And so I'm not, yeah, so it's, it's not drying down to a stain as a traditional liquid lipstick. And even blotting it is blotting uneven. So you would definitely have to reapply this throughout the day. It still feels really nice. I can feel that there is still a little bit of it on my lips, but having blotted it, it did cause it to dry down a lot faster. And it does still feel moisturizing, but just keep in mind, for those of you who will receive the rest of the year, <laughs> you will have to touch it up throughout the day. And also because it is more mousse-like than a liquid lipstick that dries down to a stain, if you eat or drink something, you will want to look in your mirror to make sure it's not smeared around your face. That's the only thing. So, I am glad I opened another one. Because the first one I was like, oh, it smells like bug spray. And I really did not want to leave that review that way. And so I am glad that I tried another one. Will I use this? I'm not sure because when I go out, maybe if I walk the park just for something moisturizing on my lips. Because I don't wear a mask when I walk the park. But if I'm going grocery shopping or into a store I'll be wearing a mask and it'll just rub off inside of the mask and so I don't know how much wear I will get out of this um however though I do wear the <laughs> the glossy lip oil at home because it is so moisturizing and these are the three that I did use and I will continue to use these and it is definitely a lip oil and you can see it's how it's separated so you will have to shake them up, but then you do, you know, squeeze it and you can jiggle the wand in it to mix it up. So that is not an issue. Um, yeah, so I like this. I just don't know how much wear I would get out of it because of how it wears. So that's it for this video. So thanks guys for watching. If you have these, let me know if you like them, how they work for you. And you will see me in the next video. Thanks. Bye.